Hey, Brandon Davenport here from TechHelp.com. Um, you can check us out. And this podcast and the show covers all the hottest stuff on TechHelp.com. You can check us out at TechHelp.com. That's threes instead of E's. So T3CH, H3LP. It's a little hard to um, grasp, but it's easy to remember. And you can check us out on iTunes. This show, we are on your iPod. Right here, that's, that's me if you can see. And um, you can check us out. And actually, you can subscribe to the podcast at techhub.com slash podcast. With your own RSS reader, we've got links up there for iTunes. You can search us on iTunes, whatever. Starting off, we're going to have three stories. Apple tablet video. What? Um, how YouTube destroyed its homepage. And Dell makes a Mac mini contender. So first off, we're going to look at the Apple tablet video. Okay, so... If you look at this, uh, this was posted by uh, Ricardo, and basically I'll put the video here, but it's a video of a of a proposed Apple tablet. Now, if you're watching, um, if you can see the the fingers touching the screen, they're touching it, but it looks like you know you know a normal LCD display how it, it sort of it looks like water. It's sort of starting to look like that. It's not a glossy screen as we'd expect from Apple. And why the hell does Apple have little mini iPhone applications with its own little keyboard? Isn't there supposed to be one big keyboard for the OS? Or is there separate keyboards for every application? I don't know. Um, like the, it, By the way, it got two, star, two stars out of five on YouTube. So obviously this may be a hoax. But knowing the leaks from Apple, there is going to be a tablet. It's supposedly coming in uh, the, the, the uh, late fourth quarter of 2009 or the early first quarter of 2010. Um, it's not quite figured out yet, but we know it's going to come before the second quarter of 2010. If there is going to be a tablet, which there's probably like a 99.9% .9 chance. Um, this could be Apple's big um, move in the netbook market. Um, there's not there's not a lot to say about it because there's hardly anything about it. We got uh, some pictures. If you want to check out the Tech Help blog, just search blah, 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 Tech uh, Apple Tablet Pictures. But this is the video, um, and there's not a lot to say about it. Like it does look like the Mac OS X. The little the long dock at the bottom looks a little look. It looks a little sketchy. Like it doesn't look like Apple would do something like that. Like a big long dock. I don't know. They do something a little more leopard esque and have like something glass or something. I don't know. But uh, remember to comment, tell me what you think, whatever. Um, next story is YouTube has destroyed their homepage. This is a, a post by yours truly. And this is how I think YouTube has destroyed their homepage. Now, lots of people have used YouTube since it came out in 2005. Um, and everyone loved it, first sight. Ever since YouTube sprawled itself all over the internet, it has been an instant hit and it kicked itself off with, of course, an early 21st century-esque design, you know, with the 8-bit buttons and the overly long descriptive um, links like, click here to go to homepage, click here to upload a video clip, you know, and um, if you look at the old style, I'll put the picture here, but... Um, the old style was awesome. It was almost beginning to look like a web point, uh, web 2.0 app. Like some websites looking like Twitter is looking really nice. Their new homepage, um, uh, uh, Vimeo, a wicked homepage. It's it's very nice. And YouTube, even with their with their old style, which was awesome, was still lacking in the aesthetics that we've come to expect for other web 2.0 services like Twitter and Vimeo and Dig and um, techhelp.com, but they've taken it a step um, back to the um, homes of uh, public school teachers and their websites, and they've gone with stripping down the menu to absolutely nothing except text links, and the upload button is no more. It's just a text link that says upload. What? What is this YouTube? Like, honestly, what the... F Seriously, this is really, 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 really unexpected. They, they, they kept going and going, and it was looking better and better and better, and now it just looks worse than it did when it first came out. 
I know, like, a lot of people, I was talking to my dad on uh, online, and he said, oh, it looks a lot cleaner and blah, you know, smaller. It's like, but it, when you look at it, it actually does take up more space than it did before. If you look at it, it's like, um, yes, the links, but they're stacked on top of each other. Like, the search bar used to be in with the links and used to be a lot cleaner. Now, it actually takes up, it looks and feels like it's chunkier, and it just, it just doesn't fit. It, you know, they need that big bar on the top with the upload button. It was like your, it was like uh, uh, a dock, you know. So I really think they screwed that up. Tell me what you think. Comment, you know, whatever. Um, next story is Dell Mac Mini Contender. Okay. Um, the Mac Mini. Hmm. It doesn't really have a huge market, it, although it is bought a lot by the people that have these big home theater setups and they want a little teeny weeny computer to put, you know, boxy on or something. But honestly, like Dell, this isn't really a fantastic market for you to try to um, uh, piggyback, you know, it's not, it's not, um, I don't think it's a very popular market, honestly, and I wouldn't personally go out and buy a Mac Mini. Lots of people have bought a Mac Mini. But um, for a while there, it looked like Apple was trying to get rid of the Mac Mini. So Dell steering off the road here. Um, the the pics they look pretty awesome. You know, it looks it looks like a Mac Mini. It's got um, uh, four USB ports on the back, HDMI, uh, FireWire, and Ethernet, the audio ports, and the power ports. Pretty standard little mini PC. But the thing that I don't like is it doesn't look like a Mac Mini. That's why the Mac Mini was as successful as it was. Again, it wasn't the most successful computer in the world, but it was as successful as it was. Is because it looked like a Mac Mini. It looked like a piece of decorative um, pottery, or I don't know. But you could put it in your living room without it standing out as a technical device. You know, you could put it in your living room. People wouldn't point out and go, "That's a computer." They point out and go, "That looks like a." I don't know what it is, but it looks very pretty. The Dell um, Mac Mini Contender looks like that's a computer, and it's really odd-shaped, and it looks weird somehow. And I think it would really stick out in, in some people's living rooms that really, um, well, maybe not, maybe it wouldn't stick out with a DVD player and everything, but it really would stick out like a sore thumb, and, and it would, um, it, it wouldn't really carry on what the Mac Mini was. The Mac Mini was this really beautiful-looking piece of technology that you could take and put anywhere and it would fit in because it was a small b very nice looking brushed metal you know and 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 c it was functional it had everything you needed and this has everything except a and b it's not pretty it's not beautiful it's not whatever and it's not able to fit into places that you normally could put things and i think this will become the device for grandparents, people that are new to the internet, um, people that maybe have a cottage and they want to stay in touch and they need a cheap computer to do that. But tell me what you think and remember to subscribe to the iTunes podcast on your iPod. Actually, I got this nice little back thing from my iPod. But um, subscribe to the iTunes podcast, subscribe to the podcast on YouTube and subscribe to the blog. You can subscribe Google Reader, My Yahoo, blah, everything. And um, this has been Tech Help. And be careful exploring the internet. It can be a dangerous place. But remember to refer back to Tech Help to see what's new in a safe environment. G-rated blogs, power to the people.